So Hunter Thompson, his son uh, put his remains in shells and they shot them up. I was there. You were they, there? They, of course was, you were there. They mixed his ashes with the gunpowder. That people didn't know. So that when the fireworks exploded, you were being, <laughs> you were being rained on by Hunter's ashes. So do you have the Hunter Thompson DNA on you? Yes, I do, somewhere. Did it help? Yeah, it, yeah, it made me angrier. Well, I want to talk to you about that, because a, a piece that was written... I'd rather not talk. No, but I would. Lots of loving for a man. And in the same way that now we, we're living in this kind of, you know, uh, digital technological renaissance, right. where, where the world we knew mm -hmm. is no longer... We, right. we might as well have lived in the dark ages. It's unrecognizable. Yeah. I um, was writing for all these Catskill guys for... First the, joke, you, first joke that you got paid for. Do you remember? First joke I ever got paid for was a sperm bank. They have so a, what is the joke? A new thing now called sperm banks, which is just like an ordinary bank, except here after you make a deposit, you lose interest. <laughs> okay, $7, <laughs> what do you want? $7. Jokes were $7. $7. $7. Uh, is that a terrible thing to say? No, 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 everyone else is saying it. Oh, well, then I'm not original? Well, you're original in the way you say it. <laughs> I was kicked out of the house. At what age? 16. Because? I was hanging around people that looked like spiders from Mars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Documentaries have, have become like textbooks. They've become a way of uh, educating people and, and hopefully, in a lot of cases, driving them to learn more about the subject. What's going on in music today, and is there a sense of history to it? Often I run across uh, guys um, uh, like Jack White, for instance, a guy who is very knowledgeable mm -hmm. about the roots uh, of R&B, of country, of rock and roll. I just learned that, you know, the more you broaden your horizons, you know, the cooler person you'd be. Mm -hmm. So I've had all these influences with music, and. I just decided, you know, let me lean toward this rap music, let me try to do it. But I could only draw from my experiences, and since I had been living this kind of underworld experience, right. I just said, hey, I'm just going to sing about what I know. The Obama administration has prosecuted more whistleblowers than that any administration in history. One of the best news things I've ever heard, they had on Eli Wiesel, right. who had written books. He was, his family died in the Holocaust. And they, they, they asked him, they said, if you could make any wish, what would it be? And, and he said, I would wish that people wouldn't just stand by. And he goes, the Holocaust happened because people stand by and tragedies and genocide continue to happen because people stand by. And the host puts his hand on Elie Wiesel's knee and goes, and he turns to the camera and goes, and we're going to ask you to stand by. Ah. What <laughs>